Hey guys, what's up? So, at the cabin here, and I actually just realized that my extension cord, I had run this thing over a couple weeks ago, and longer works. It's a 100 foot extension cord. And I'm doing obviously a lot of work, you can see, with the side of this, but I think I or thought I'd show you guys how to uh, replace this end the right way. See, this one's broken. Um, a lot of the ones on the internet don't actually have the polarity correct. <clears throat> when it, they're, they're basically sticking the wires in without even putting the hot and neutral on the right side. So I thought I'd show you what's up. <clears throat> Obviously you've seen my other videos, you know I work on a lot of electronics. Alright, so... Cut that off. I'm going to go back. Splice these wires. I don't need a lot. I do have wire strippers though. I'm a cabling contractor. Ah, it's hard to get this. I'm with rubber. I've actually had this center quarter, I think, quite a while. Well, so here we go. We have. Okay, let's see where we're at. We have the green, the ground, the white's the neutral, the black is the hot. So, the, the key thing to remember here is on most extension cords, or most uh, AC, not all, there's a, a, a larger prong and a smaller prong. The smaller prong is for the hot, the larger is for the neutral, and that's for the ground. So most of the videos on the internet aren't actually saying specifically which one is which. So you want to make sure the neutral is on the fatter one. Okay, the ground. So now these are all stripped and twisted. Actually, I should have done that before I put these through here. Put that through there. Make sure these are nice and tight. Sorry, my hand's in the way. I forget the camera's at a weird angle. Okay, so just remember, that's the neutral. That's the white wire. Small one is the hot. All right, and the ground is obviously the green. All right. Yeah, I think this part was like a five or six dollars at Home Depot. I need to slide this back in. Make sure it's probably keyed, so you gotta make sure that we get the right spots in each area. Let's see. Okay, that's the key goes this way. All right. That's it. Only took me uh, less than five minutes. I think it didn't take me long at all. You gotta make sure you tighten the cord down so it doesn't. So if you pull, yank the cord, it's not gonna pull those uh, wires out. The ones that I just screwed in. Okay, get this one. It's getting difficult. There we go. Getting it going. All right, guys. There it is. Five bucks, I saved my 100 foot cord.